We're asking the state for eased COVID restrictions when it comes to extracurricular activities in public schools. Ericetta Koss joins us live in the newsroom with much more on this. Good morning, Ericetta. Good morning, Leah. Well, the state is now allowing county health departments to decide how high-risk sports resume. Now there's a push to do the same with music and arts extracurriculars. Senator Pam Helming says she was inspired by how many people spoke up about sports and signed a petition. She found there wasn't even a need to write a bill. The governor heard voices and acted on them. Now she's asking for the same attention and consideration when it comes to things like choir, band, theater, productions, and recitals. She started a petition on this movement and says an ease of restrictions would not only help students but teachers in social engagement and mental health and confidence. The bill is asking the state to allow the county's health commissioner and uh, education, commissioner of education to work together on regulations they believe to be best fit. Here's what she had to say about why this is important. It's those experiences that you build upon and help you in later life making decisions but also something very important and very real for people is kids need to be back to their activities because it helps them uh, obtain scholarships, right, to move on if that's what they're interested in pursuing college education. Oftentimes, this leads to scholarship opportunities. Like I said, that's incredibly important. Now, coming up in the next half hour, you'll hear from one local superintendent about what he is asking for specifically when it comes to these COVID regulations in the arts. For now in the newsroom, Eric Hattacost, News 8. All right, Eric thank you so much for that.